name is Sarah Ray. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today has been a little rough for me this morning. I had two therapy sessions. I just literally got done with one of them. So my mind's been a little bit probed. <sighs> so to listen to some music and analyze some music sounds like just my cup of tea right now. <laughs> and it is day three of our subscriber week and we are bringing Metallica back to the channel. I'm so excited because some Metallica sounds perfect right now with the way I'm feeling. Some heavy, hard, rock sounds amazing metal heavy metal i think they're heavy metal hard rock so that just sounds perfect to me right now so duncan alexander your name is right here you are the subscriber or viewer of the day thank you so much for your suggestions you suggested a few metallica songs i picked two of them those songs are sad but true and moth into flame so those are the songs we are listening to today and thank you for your support and love so let's jump into it you know the drill like comment subscribe hit the bell for notifications of when i upload let's get checking out some metallica Alright, so for both of these songs, I will have the lyric videos pulled up because I know Metallica sometimes is kind of hard for me to understand with the last two songs we heard of. Um, so if you see me looking this way, it's because I, I might be looking at the lyrics. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, let's jump into it. The first song we are listening to is Sad But True. So here we go.
As always, we're going to start with what I think the song is about. I do have the lyrics fully pulled up. Now, listening to the song a second time with the lyrics pulled up, I do get the feeling this song is more about drug addiction. And the reason for that is I feel like the lyrics depict the story about how a true drug addiction and the monster it turns you into. And, I mean, it could be really about any type of illness or anything like depression, really anything and what it turns you into but I'm leaning more towards drug addiction especially because of the last verse let me know what you think this song is about leave it in the comment section down below now let's talk about this song itself first of all the intro is beautiful I could just listen to that alone wow um incredible lyricism in this song truly uh the riff is it just hits hard wow it's a very powerful song his vocals the rough in his vocals really pack a punch with the way the song the the lyrics in the song the story it tells i feel like his vocals really add to it if that makes sense i feel like the drum work is really a work of art i also feel like there's some kind of uh an intricate work in the guitar and the drums and the way it blends together that is just so incredible it really blew my mind when i was listening to this song truly incredible i especially at the beginning of the song when i first was hearing it it just sounded so unique and so different and so intricate not only the guitar alone not only the drums alone but the way they were playing off of each other and blending in with each other was just art truly and the last verse was chef's kiss wow um i mean the whole song was incredible but the that last verse really was amazing lyrically so I, I really like this song a lot. Uh, I'm gonna download it. <laughs> Let's check out Moth Into Flame. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the elephant in the room. The day and night situation, literally. You guys just saw me, it was daytime, and now it's nighttime. That's because I took a little bit of a phone call and we got to talk in a little bit and it was actually really great. So it took up a little bit of time, but that's okay because it was so worth it. So now let's jump into Moth Into Flame. So here we go.
moth into flame as always we do the meaning first i have the lyrics pulled up here i think this song is talking about exactly what the title says it is moth into flame and when they say that term that pretty much means being irresistibly attracted to someone or something so in this case they're saying fame or to be kind of obsessed with in this day and age being validated I feel like and everyone's kind of striving to be loved by someone I think and I think this song is explaining that why are we so obsessed with wanting to be validated or wanting that fame when we should be happy with who we are and love ourselves and when in the end all it's gonna do is, is harm ourselves and that fame really can just get to us. I, I think that's what he's talking about, especially when he brings down the the harsher side of fame that can come with it and that can really take a toll on you. So that's what I think this song is about. As always, let me know what you think this song is about in the comment section down below. Now, this song isn't my favorite that I've listened to by them. I really enjoyed the beginning. The intro is one of my favorite parts of this song and the solo and the lyrics are the other parts I really enjoyed from this song. But overall, it, it I wasn't really vibing with it. I think it's just um, like when they started singing um, Light It Up or something like that, uh, when they started really hitting the drums hard and there wasn't an exact beat to rock out to to me and it went really fast just constantly um i don't like that type of beat uh and that's not my vibe but don't freak out in the comment section because i don't like the song or because i said i didn't like that type of beat because it's really fast and consistent in the same that's my opinion okay don't freak out but i'm gonna tell you what i did like about this song so okay it goes very hard in this song. That is very Metallica. <laughs> um, the guitar work was incredible. Again, just very brilliant, very incredible guitar work in this song. I think this song would be really incredible live. I could see that in it. I feel like this song speaks to you. It's very relevant. The tempo and key progressions in this song were very just perfect. It really felt like poetry, the lyrics did. That's why I kept looking at the lyrics because they, they were very just like they just were beautiful they were perfect they were poetry to me and i love poetry i write it myself so it just spoke to me so that's kind of what i thought about it the short but still overview of this video um i feel like both songs sad but true and moth into flame had great guitar work incredible guitar work one was quite brilliant and the other one was just intricate moth into flame and sad but true just quite admirable guitar work the drum work was just as incredible i don't understand how they could go that fast with the drum work on moth into flame that was just blew my mind i just couldn't understand that the lyrics were so relevant and topics that i could see being something so classic and almost timeless that will live on forever because they're talking about topics that people can relate to there's always going to be fame or a strive for fame and there's always going to be addiction so that is something that people are always going to relate to so them singing on topics like that make metallica's music quite timeless and quite classic so I see that in their music. There's poetry, there's beauty there. And in their music, there's quite art in it. And I just admire their music very much. Um, Moth into Flame quite isn't my vibe, but I have, do very much like um, Sad But True. So that's three songs so far that I like from them. That's more than I thought. Well, four because I love Enter Sandman. So I really like Sad But True. I will add that into my repertoire 
and uh, that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys thought about these two songs I hope you guys are staying safe and well tomorrow we are doing some poison we're bringing poison back to the channel so I hope you guys will stay tuned for that but until then I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye